Hello and welcome to the MP Tech Group. Uh, scan and print is back. Um, it never totally went away, but it kind of hasn't been the same for a little while. Uh, Zebra's latest versions of printers, and we've usually used Zebra printers for scan and print applications. Uh, we lost control of some of the display and, and all of the key functionality. So we could still do some simple scan and prints, but the more complicated ones we were having a little trouble with. So uh, what you see here is a Sato uh, desktop printer um, and a Zebra um, hand scanner. And, uh, I'm gonna, and I've got Chad here with me. I'm going to have Chad uh, power this printer up, and you'll see that it's got a, uh, a little nifty uh, splash screen on it that's our EMP uh, screen and then uh, talk a little bit about the application. So you'll see everything is white, it's all healthcare white, um, as it says, scan and print application on the screen there. Uh, our customer um, is a medical uh, company, um, medical device, and uh, this is gonna be in a clinical setting. So they actually need this to be, um, to be my antimicrobial and healthcare white. So that's why everything is white here. So uh, we chose Sato for this uh, application because one, their printers are available. So we, we actually got these printers in, there's 30 of them for this project. Uh, we got these printers in in two weeks, which is lightning fast these days. Um, and uh, this AEP programming language uh, is fairly straightforward, uh, similar to ZBI and pretty quick and easy for us to pick up. So I'm gonna have Chad show you how this thing works. Um, and I'm gonna try to get in on this screen a little bit tighter, Chad, while you go. So tell us what you got here. Sure. So the first screen that you come to basically uh, has you select the label and also set the print quantity. Okay. So our customer asked, uh, sometimes they need two labels, sometimes they need three. So having that right on the front makes it super simple for them to increase the number of labels they'll get each time they scan a barcode. And when you select label, I see it's either code 128 or it's QR code. So the label is really one, one barcode symbology or the other. Yeah, we okay. called it different labels, but it's just a symbology change. Truly. Okay. One thing I'll point out here, the scanner uh, with this printer is USB right into the printer. Uh, with the uh, Zebra scanners, we had to use a serial scanner, which was not a huge deal, but it had a separate power supply. And you'll see there's only one thing plugged in here, and that's the printer. Uh, and the scanner just powers off of the printer via USB. Okay, so you've told the printer that you want to print three labels every time. Now you're going to select which uh, barcode symbology you're going to put yep. out. So if we're scanning their 128s, um, you'll notice the cursor, well, maybe you can't see it too well, but the cursor automatically goes into the input field. So if we scan a barcode. You got three labels out and you scanned, you've got some QR and some code 128 barcodes on your on your sheet there. It doesn't matter which symbology you scan in, the scanner is just gonna turn that into ASCII data. And then the printer is gonna print out which label format you told it to print. So I'll tear those off and let's uh, take a quick look at those labels. Very tiny labels for this application, yeah. by the way. Another nice yeah. thing about the Sato printer. And these are code 128, yeah. uh, just like a six character, five or six character barcode there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So can you back that up and now pick um, a QR code? Yep. So back button right on the screen. We'll go into QR instead. We'll scan the same code. Cool. Same thing. Show us the labels here. Uh, so QR code labels this time. Mm -hmm. uh, with the human readable off to the right instead of underneath. So that makes all kinds of sense. Cool. Well, purpose-built uh, application. For this customer, we're actually going to custom package this, put their labeling on it, and it's a finished product as it ships out of our warehouse to them. Uh, with you know, and again, in custom packaging with all their documentation and label on it, uh, custom build application. Uh, in this case, we put EMP Tech Group on the as the logo on the screen and on the splash screen, but it'll actually have the customer's information and logo on there. So they've kind of made a product out of this. Uh, we were able to do the uh, the uh, programming for the display and for the printer to get it to be purpose-built. Hey, one more thing to show them, Chad. So you're gonna get out of this screen because you need to wanna to change print speed or something like that. Show us how that works. Right, so if for some reason you needed to change the settings, uh, there is just one single home button here that you can press, and then it gets you into your printer settings. So like you said, if you wanted to change something like print speed. Media type, anything. Or, yeah. yeah. Go back to that home screen. Um, because now it's got that AEP 
which is our program on there, as well as uh, the settings. Uh, and, there, and there's a, app, a storage app on, on the printer as well. So you didn't lose any functionality. Hit, the, um, hit, hit our program again there, Chad. You didn't lose any functionality. Uh, you just got to back out of our program uh, to do that. So scan and print is back and it's uh, better than ever. So let us know if we can help. Uh, EMPTechGroup.com, always the best place to get us. Thanks for watching this video.